Alrighty, I'm going to answer the question for you of poached rainbow trout in court bouillon with fresh herbs. So this is, of course, a concocted recipe, if you will, but not the poaching technique itself. This is not concocted. But the way in which I finished this dish is a little bit um, probably unique to this course at this particular time. So we're going to start with the court bouillon, which I have pre-made. It's sitting here and it has the celery, the carrots, and onions, vinegar, bay leaves, thyme, I have a little pinch of sugar, and salt in it. And uh, it's ready to receive the trout. And in this particular dish, we're going to use part of the court bouillon as part of what we serve for the dinner. Now, this is a fresh 10 ounce rainbow trout with the head on. That's been butterflied, you see? And all the pin bones have been taken out of the sides here, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to take the head off, get rid of that. We're going to trim this little piece of cartilage, if you will, right here off the fish. And we're going to trim a little bit of the excess belly fat off right there. After this fish is cooked, we are going to skin it on the plate. So the skin will be removed, partially for a very standard reason. That standard reason is that fish that are poached, steamed, braised, or otherwise cooked with wet heat versus browned fish, which might be grilled, fried, or sauteed, the skin is kept on with the brown. But with the wet cooked fish, the skin is taken off. It tends to be undesirable and fatty, okay? So there's your rainbow trout, and here's the court bouillon. And I'm gonna slip the trout into the court bouillon. I'm going to bring the court bouillon over here for you so you can take a good close look at it. You see what I've got now? I've got the trout completely submerged in the bouillon here, see? This is not a pan that I can tilt up for you to look into or otherwise I'll spill the bouillon all over the table. All right, so we're going to set this back up. It's not going to take long for this trout to cook now. In the meantime, we're going to get a couple of things ready that we're going to serve with it. One of them is some boiled potatoes, which I have right here, but they're not quite done yet. And I have some blanched broccoli that I blanched in scalding water and then shocked in some ice water here. We're going to serve some of that with it. And we're going to serve some of these fresh herbs with it and a couple of tomato wedges. Let's go with, let's go with, say, three tomato wedges. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. And we're going to, um, can you get me another knife, please? Okay, thank you. And uh, I'm going to show you then again real quick how to make a lemon crown, which is one of the garnishes on the trout. I'm doing all this while the trout is cooking here now, you see? So we're going to make some incisions here one after another. This is just part of the fun part of serving this particular dish. This is a fairly pretty item on the plate. Certainly has a healthy appearance and for good reason it is one of the healthier ways to eat fish period in terms of fat and cholesterol and calories etc. Okay? There's almost no carbs in this whatever that's worth although I will not play doctor with you However, I do understand that it's important. I am someone who's been on multiple diets myself, so I do understand the need to eat more carefully. Now, see those little lemon crowns? Aren't they cute? Okay, we're gonna put one of those on the plate when we're ready. Now, that trout, believe it or not, is almost done. And these potatoes are done. Whoop, come back here. One more minute. Now I have this to remove the trout from the water, just because it's the right tool for that. And I got some fresh tarragon and basil leaves that I picked here. And we're going to chop some of that. And I have another pan over here that I am going to use to do a little finishing process with some of this court bouillon. Uh, let me have a ladle, Louis. Um, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the court bouillon while the fish is still in there cooking with some of the vegetables. Thank you. <clears throat> and this is what we're going to serve the trout with in terms of the... Let me just get a little bit of really paper-thin celery in there. Let's just cook. The rest of that celery settled to the bottom. And this is nice and green now. Put some celery. We got some of the veg and a little bit of the onion and none of the bay leaves. Okay. Just a little bit more of the juice. Now in this mixture, we're going to put the fresh herbs and just to ruin it all, for those of you that are dieting, we're going to put a little bit of butter and some soft, whole, unsalted butter here. We're going to mix that in there. We're going to put the juice of one of the part of these lemons in here. I'm going to put a little pinch of garlic in here. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley in here. I'm going to taste it before I do anything. It should be nice and subtle but delicious. It's nice. Very nice. Now I'll put the tomatoes in there to heat them up. And while that is just kind of stirring up a little bit, we're going to pull the trout out because the trout is done. Okay? Didn't take long to cook that fish. these bouillon veg behind because we already have ours selected in the little pan next to us, you see? Get rid of those bay leaves. Now, to take the skin off the trout, and we simply peel it off. Comes right off. And I'm going to do that on both sides, you see? Well, look how pretty that is, okay? Now, I'm going to take uh, some of that broccoli, by the way, and drop it in a little bit of the water with the potatoes. Heat that up. Lay this around the bed. We'll lay this around the fish. I'm going to put just a splash of cream in here. This is the kind of thing that French cooks would truly, truly appreciate because all of these techniques and principles that we're applying and imposing on this fish are completely French based. The fish is going to put a pinch of sugar in there because the vinegar water from the court bouillon. Put this around the fish, not necessarily on the fish, you see. And we're going to take some of the potatoes. How about two of the potatoes? And a little pinch of butter on the potato. And a little bit of salt. And then we're going to make what we call parsley potatoes which is boiled potatoes that are seasoned with butter, salt, and pepper, and then rolled in parsley. So that they look like those. And then finally, we'll put throw a little piece of broccoli on there, you know? And then the lemon crown. Let's see if I can get this lemon crown to stay on this plate. see now. What more, what more thing can you add to this? I would say a little sprig of this fresh tarragon wouldn't hurt. We have tarragon as part of the herbs that are inside of it. Voila. So there's your poached trout. This 
technique of poaching the fish in the bouillon, you would apply it to anything that you wanted to poach. You could put a fillet of salmon in there, a piece of grouper, mahi-mahi. Of course, the fishes that are most conducive to being poached would be the only ones that you'd want to put in there. You know, fatty fishes like salmon, mackerel, smelt, snook are more conducive to the fried brown effect that we talked about earlier. And those would be the ones that you might leave the skin on if you'd like to. So enjoy that fish, and I will for sure. As soon as we get done with this tape, we're going to eat this thing. <laughs>